What's up, everybody? We're at Stafta for 2021. We're in the Flex booth. We have two Flex experts, Barnaby and Chris. I'm seeing a different size Flex charger that I've not seen before. So you have our high speed. I always introduce that as the high speed charger. This is our standard charger, Right. high speed. And we've talked about that previously. This charger outperforms a lot of other companies' rapid chargers. So, so if this isn't fast enough for you, we have an option which takes you from the 160 up to the, the, the 280. Now, some people will, will give the argument, rapid charging's not good for battery cells. And the difference between Flex, from what I understand, and maybe Chris or Barnaby can explain it, the rapid charging isn't the, the, the culprit that, that hurts the batteries. It's the heat. Right. The Flex chargers actually pass cool air or air over the battery packs and the cells inside the battery packs through these ports into the battery pack. It's got two fans. So the two fans, they're cooling the charger, yep. cooling the battery pack. When you plug this in, you put the battery on, you hear it. Oh yeah. But that's just that's just helping that battery stay cool. And the technology we have in the battery with the cool with the management of the, the cells. Yep. Uh, the thermotech. You know, the thermotech each of those cells being wrapped with that. It's right. just really keeping everything cool. Okay. Now that we're on to, I'm gonna ambush. Everybody's like, how come you don't ambush people yeah. when you're out at the show? We're getting ready. We, in a previous video that you can watch over here, <laughs> okay, go and check it out. Yeah. We leaked that Flex will be using stacked lithium or polymer. I don't know what the, the makeup of the battery is because I have no confirmation. What can you tell us about these stacked lithium batteries? I would tell you that our, our product team has been working on this, not for a year, not for two years, not for three years. So really? It's something that's been on the drawing board for a very long time with a reputable uh, you know, manufacturer that makes those cells for us, and uh, it is coming. I've seen multiple charger offerings from Flex. I don't even think that, that, you, that, that 280 watt charger is not your top of the line. No, I mean, we have other things that are coming, but what I will tell you is that the technology that we do have coming out will be compatible with everything that we have already. My, my thing was, and I always thought previously, even though we have cool air passing over battery cells, and how, how safely can you charge these lithium ion cylindrical cells? They're just not made to take that much of a charge. Single point in, single point out. We tell, talk about it in that video. You know, because you've taken them apart, that we have those computer chips that are monitoring certain, yes. certain things. And if that if something goes wrong in that battery, you can't charge it. You know, it, it, it stops it. There's no way, you know, it's all about safety. That's one of the biggest things that our company's focused on. Okay. Is making sure that when we're developing this new technology, that we're doing it in a safe manner and we've done the testing and we know where it needs to be. That's a great point. I mean, I it's always, all about management of the safety and right. cooling of the cells. I always get wrapped up in performance, but, you know, luckily cooler cooler minds and much more intelligent people than myself, <laughs> like Chris here, safety. That has been, a, you know, in our video, a, a reoccurring thing. People are talking about uh, pouch technology. So what you're saying is if there were any issues, Flex has addressed those. This is ready to be dropped. This They're ready to be used in harsh conditions of a job site. The only thing we don't make in the battery cell is the battery itself. Everything okay. else we make in-house, we put it all together. So we are on top of it every inch of the way. It's been jokingly said that Flex and Ego and Skill, we're actually a battery company that makes power tools because we are so sophisticated in that area. We are leaps and bounds ahead of everybody else. And that's the thing though, without right. the battery technology and the advancement in battery technology, right. the tools halt. You're, you're, you'll only, you're gonna hit a brick wall, you'll never advance. A lot of you have been asking about Flex's accessories. You love their tools, but you don't necessarily want to go outside your brain. You're matchy-matchy. Like when I put on my Nike sneakers, I want Nike socks. When I put on my Adidas, I want my Adidas socks. What do you what do you what are the plans, Chris, for tool accessories for the Flex line? I, I mean the bottom line, we're gonna have accessories that are gonna go well with our tools. And okay. We're gonna look at 
uh, the features that the contractor really is looking for when they, they come to buy our tools. So you you have accessories here that are Starlock. I see a bunch of them. I see T-Shank uh, jigsaw blades. We see driver bits. One of the biggest questions a lot of you have been asking about are the uh, recip saw blades. So many companies are producing recip saw blades and what type of technology can we expect from Flex? Are, are they are they going to branch out through different styles of recip saw blades? What's going on? I mean, the bottom line, this is kind of our starter kit. Yes. It comes with multiple, uh, uh, you know, different different sizes. We also give you a little storage case for it uh, after you're done, you know, after you take it out of the packaging and things like that. Something that that's going to last it and give them the durability. You know, people, people, my find, and I do it myself. People get into an ecosystem and they just want to stay there. They, they find something that works, they find a line that, that delivers, they just want to look and see Flex and grab it. They know they're going to get something that's going to perform and get them their, their, their value for their dollar. Right, well it's like buying a premium automobile and then putting aftermarket cheap parts on it. Why would you do that? And all of these are expendable items over time, right? The blades are all gonna wear down. So, but once that blade is done, try these and A, B it in your mind because I think you're automatically gonna say that tool fits this uh, after piece perfectly and does the job that I'm expecting it to do. So Flex is married technologically across from tool to accessory. Bottom line, Vince, for the long time that we've been, you know, testing these products throughout the market and asking people what they like and dislike, they're obviously talking about accessories as well. Sure. So why not right. incorporate that in our tools, listen to what they yeah. they like and dislike, and make accessories that work great on our tools. Because you agree. can have all the power in the world, but if it's not translating to the accessory. Well, that's the thing. Right. The, the accessory is where the rubber meets the road. So obviously multi-tool blades are expensive. Yeah. And if, if we're in a rush, we're doing things, we might not take the time to swap out that oscillating multi-tool blade right. because we're in a rush. And then we would be using the wrong blade for an application, we're wasting a blade. Now, you have Starlock integrated into yep. your oscillating multi-tool, you'll swap between blades, they're gonna last longer, you're gonna save money, you'll make more money, you'll be more productive. That's the thing, the incremental small changes makes a contractor more productive. Well, and even look at this, I mean, it just looks like an impact driver, right? But it's so feature rich because yes. it's got not only turbo, but multi-mode. So if you're working with smaller screws, you can actually dial it so it's not gonna strip it, it's not gonna cross thread it. And getting back to the point of a quick eject, this little button right here, boop, the bit pops out. Put another one in, you never have to touch a hot look bit how again. how small that is in your hand. It's brushless. Yeah, feel it, 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 is, it is pretty small. Yeah. So this is, in its present form, if we put their five amp hour battery on here, this sure. is pretty much from our extensive testing, the most powerful impact driver on in the marketplace right now. Oh yeah. Okay. With the stack lithium, you're gonna get more, more for your money with recharge cycles, faster times, longer life cycles and all. You know, that's 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 the real important part. For me, it's the power. I don't want the power, baby. You, you keep right. pushing that button. You keep wanting me to slip on something. I want the power. Right. But you know, and we like to guard you against that extreme power with more technology, and that's like the anti-kickback function that happens on the hammer drill and also the uh, the drill with turbo. So once it meets resistance, it stops. Barnaby's gonna save me for myself. Right. So you're not gonna blow out your tennis elbow or whatever sport golf, keeps golfers. you in such golf. fantastic I have, shape. I, I have not never played a round of golf in my entire life, but somehow I have golfer's elbow. <laughs> wow. What else we have, Chris? A lot of the sanders that are in the market are on what's called a straight shaft design. Okay. So your head is parallel with the motor. If you look at all the other drywall sanders that are out there, that head's parallel with that motor. We've designed something that's ergonomically correct for that drywall sander. This is on what's called an S-shaped design. The head arches towards the wall, and that motor arches towards your body. So it just makes it easier when you're sanding on that wall. That's that really makes perfect out. sense. Can I feel that? Yeah. I can't believe how light this is, too. It is. It's a light unit. It's very well designed. I've used multiple other units. Some are heavier. This is definitely the lightest and feels really good. And it floats against the surface, which is so important. I, I got it. I you want to go out and do some I'm drywall like, finishing, I might don't need, you? I might need to get the boys the flex. So this is our standard sander that would be more comparable to what guys see in, in the market today yes. in the US. Our next generation sander is actually our GE7. This okay. is gonna be coming to our retailers here really soon. And literally, this snaps right on there, and boom, you can get into corners, 
edge work, different types of things like that. We're actually changing the motion from a circular motion that your standard uh, sander is. So is this going to vibrate? Uh, a vibrating setup. So this is kind of like an oscillating multi-tool style. Yeah. Yep. Exactly. Very similar. Why don't we have a demo here? I want to see this work. We have a HEPA vacuum. You can plug this in right to the to the vacuum. As you pull the trigger, the vacuum turns on, and it runs while you're using the unit. So, what length hoses? Like, if, can we put the like? We work on a lot of bigger scaffold, right? Yeah. So, up high. What length hoses do we need to take this up on scaffold with us? Can we leave it on the ground? It comes, you know, standard with your your long cord. I, I believe it's 13 foot. Okay. And, and the vacuum hose is about the same. Okay. The nice thing about this vacuum is it's so powerful. You can actually add up to two hoses oh. without changing your CFM. That's, so that's awesome. Huge. That is. And Flex, you know, takes that suction, the CFM, from the end of the hose not from where some of our competitors uh -huh. take the specification yeah. from, the, from the unit itself. That makes a lot of sense. And it pulses to clean the filter as well. So it cleans out the filter. Yeah. The particulate's yeah. not gonna clog your filters. If it does, mm -hmm. it senses it, it keeps you working. There's four filters on that thing. So wow. as long as you run the filters the way it's designed to be run, yeah. it's gonna be, the, the air that comes out of that unit is cleaner than the air you're breathing right now. That's pretty cool. I have bad sinuses. That is awesome yeah. stuff. Right. It really comes down to the system, putting it together the right way. Uh, and then it just rolls into our new system. It's what's next with Flex. We have an entire line of drywall tools with our 24 volt system. Uh, I, I want to hear about it. I want to. No, I have not heard, seen it yet. I want to see it. I want to see it all. Come on, Chris, give it to us. Our new screw gun, which comes as a kit, you can actually get both the nose cone, which for our demo purposes, it's here. Awesome. So a lot of guys in the drywall market, it comes just with the nose cone, and then you have to buy this. You know this option. Yes, the collator, including the collator, with all of our kits. Here's a question, because I've gotten this one before. There's no option to just buy it with the nose cone. So right now, our packaging today it doesn't come with just the nose cone. We do have that packaging coming to market very soon. We felt it would be right to sell you a package at the competitive price and include that right now. So it makes sense. The pricing comes with everything well, you need. And in the working man's day, I think a, a collated band where you can just go bam, bam, as opposed to mouth to tip, mouth to tip, right? I mean, just let it go fully automated, right? I mean, me personally, I've always ran with nose cone. Yeah. And I'm used to it. Yeah. But I would never, and, and sometimes I'm cheap. Like, you know, I'm just cheap. I'm like, this has been working and sure. I can feed it. But I would never object to a competitively priced tool, right? That is going to speed me up. You can do any 360 degrees that turn to get you into whatever position. Right, so you're not now going like this, you're simply staying square. You also have a spot so when you put that that uh, uh, screw collation in there, it yeah. actually pulls uh, it back away from the wall so you're not scraping your wall. And I'm going to tell you this much, compared to my other cordless uh, screw guns, the unit itself, much more compact. Feels good in your hand. It does, it does. Do we have like, you know, we're, I'm used to old corded style, and there's a lot of times even my new corded tools, I'll still run them that way, where, you know, trigger lock on, boom, 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 and just go. Are there any auto modes in this to where it won't run until it feels pressure on the nose? There are no on off auto modes. You, you lock it and you go. Okay, uh, fair enough. It, it does have its, you know, the nose cone's adjustable as well, so you can put it so that dimple into the drywall is perfect. Okay. Um, and when I've run screws into it, or I've let contractors run screws with it, uh, they, they comment, wow, that, that is smooth. I even I even like the, you can see the, the, see the gauge. Yep. I, I like the easy That's adjustment. Easy. I talk about this all the time. As someone, I'm very, um, I'm not of the digital world. I'm very, what's the, what's the opposite of digital? Prehistoric. I'm very prehistoric. <laughs> so I will get new technology and I will implement it in the prehistoric manner. Right. They're very, uh, not analytic, what is it? Analog. Analog, the analog. And because I don't want to take the time as a tradesperson to figure it out. And the more hieroglyphics that we have, the easier it makes it for a prehistoric man like nice. myself. Hieroglyphics, I, I prehistoric. Like Absolutely. Clever. We have it here on the wall. So it comes spiral saw? Yeah, yeah. just your standard spiral saw, saw setup. This has some really cool features as well. So not only you see the durability of the unit, we have what's called a halo. So 
right here, we're able to, to switch that. So if I turn this on, your standard drywall sander is going to shoot that dust into the wall. Okay. So feel that. So now I'm changing that to the side instead of coming up a tip. So if we're up and we're doing, you know, pan cutouts, it's not falling on you as the person it's doing it. It's blowing it out it's away it's from us. It's your neighbors. It's not getting you. Sure. <laughs> if you don't like your neighbors, it's perfect. <laughs> yeah. I like that. And this will do 150 boxes on a single charge. Nice. Yeah. I like that. What else do we have? The low man on the totem pole job right here. Mixing the mud, the thin set, right? Look at this. I, I feel like everybody... Who would use a drill, Yo, right? you want to laugh? When Born to be handed this to me, yeah. I expected it. When you hand, like when he handed it to me, Take two. he hand, I expected it to grab it and it fall this way. Right. It didn't. No. It literally stood up. Yep. This is the drywall, the drywaller or any sort of mud mixing kind of guy. Like just the feel of it in his hands, you're used to like, I guess the, the market has put the drill oh. in that guy's hand and that drill just yeah, is true. awkward the, the way you hold and it. And you're along for the twist. This is the, right? the mixer. This is the mixer. It feels well, you put it yep. against your body and just pulling it, it's just smooth and just feels good in your hand. Wow. Yeah, it's got a high and a low gear and then you can dial in speed specifically. All so you kinds. can mix paint with it, thin yeah. set, mud, whatever you so want So you do. have multiple speeds here? Yep. Yep. Wow. And you have a transmission also, which you can change also your RPM. Right. Because certain certain types of, obviously, you turn So we have a high and low here, yep. plus we have three speeds up here. Yes. yes. All depending on what you're mixing, right. what Foxy's you need. Growl, uh, thin set. I mean, there's just so many different applications for this, not just the drywaller. See, in a man such as yourself, I can see you getting creative with this and welding up a kitchen version of this. Say goodbye to the KitchenAid mixer. My, wife, hello. my <laughs> wife will not allow this on the countertop. <laughs> you make cookies with your Flex mixer. <laughs> right. I, I have a question. What's that? Our key chuck storage on the tool? It, it actually comes with a, a, a strap. key chuck strap that you would put somewhere, keep wherever you need. You'll, all be, you'll all be used to it. The biggest thing is the bottom line, we put a chuck system on here. So sure. anything that you're currently using as far as paddles go, that's what we recommend. Absolutely. Yeah, people cannot say enough about this because once you get away from the drill, which you're burning your drill up anyway. Absolutely. The hard stuff, this is just perfect. You're just sitting there going, I don't mind mixing mud anymore. In <laughs> fact, I love it. Absolutely. Yeah. So on down the way it goes, I mean, if we uh, transition out of the world of drywalling tools, six and a half inch inline, Cirque saw. Woo, I was just talking to a dude, he said, why do they even make a seven and a quarter anymore? He said, this is his go-to tool because this will rip three buys, right? It's light, you have good sight on both sides. I mean, give that a feel. And, and once again, the dust collection, the, yeah, dust, swivels. the dust management. Do you yeah. have, let me ask you this question, yeah. because I don't have anything right now, yeah. or haven't seen anything. What do we have in the way for dust management coming for this line of tools? So, I mean, that does hit, hook up to our, our vacuum that we were talking about earlier with the drywall sander. Uh, you know, that vacuum will fit on this, no problem at all. Okay. Uh, it has great suctioning ability. Uh, so great suction. Suction ability, I think that's a word. Suction ability. Suction we ability. created something new here at Staffton for 2021. <laughs> it's super balanced. Yeah. Very balanced. I mean, it's literally, it's look at it. Five amp hour battery on it. That's crazy. <laughs> it's a pleasure to use. Nice big battery, but the first comment you said was it's well balanced. It is, super inline, look at that. We take a lot of time and put a lot of thought into everything we make. Like we're not rushing things to market. And so you can be guaranteed that anything that appears on the shelf has been thought out to the point where it is as close to perfection as possible. I appreciate that. Yeah. And if you appreciate that, then smash the like button because it's free for you to do. <laughs> you'll get why seven, wouldn't you? Yeah, you get seven years of good luck. There's no good reason not to. Like Barnaby says, why wouldn't you? Yeah. Thank you for your time. Yeah, man. Thanks, Vince. Hope to see us all on the next one. Video's over, but I know you want more. So this is how you're going to get it. First thing you need to do is pretend you're this guy and you're here in the birthplace of freedom. Now ring that bell like it's 1776 and let all notifications through. What? You're not subscribed yet? Well, smash this button here. After that, watch this video here, here, and maybe over here. See you later.